Hello wonderful YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I am Gemma Lineker and a huge welcome to everybody in this new home space of mine. This is our new online yoga studio where we will be filming much more content for you over the next coming months. Today's class is for those that really want to get through to that back body, maybe you're experiencing some lower pain in the back, fatigue, tightness. In today's class, we're gonna twist that out and worm that out and help you feel good around that area. So if you are ready, come and roll down your mat and meet me down here. So the first posture that we are going to come into is a supine posture. So we're gonna start off on our back. So we are going to lower all the way down onto our back. And from here, we are going to bring this left knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers, begin to feed that knee in towards the chest and just start to extend that right leg out long pulling the toes back towards you and feeding the knee in towards the chest. Shoulder blades are flat. And we're just gonna simply breathe here. Maybe you decide to light up your ujjayi breath, breathing in through the nose, pushing the breath over the vocal cord, creating that oceanic sound. Let's begin to bring this left arm out in line with the shoulder, palm facing up towards the sky, and begin to feed this left knee over to the right. And we may decide to take the gaze over to the left, just finding that full spinal twist. And allowing everything to be heavy. Noticing the effects of this stretch. Navel is softly pulling back towards the spine. And your hand is just playing a little bit of weight on the knee to bring you into your stretch. So the more weight you apply to the side of the knee, the deeper the stretch. If that's too much, then just back off with the resistance that you're popping there onto the knee. Beautiful. Just start to bring everything back to center. Let's bring both knees back in towards the chest. Rock from side to side. So just massage off that lower back. Keeping the right knee coming in towards you as the left leg extends. Take a few moments here with the eyes closed if you feel safe to do so. And left toes pulling back towards you. Noticing how you are feeling today. Noticing where the breath lies. From here, let's bring this right arm out in line with the shoulder, lifting the palm up towards the sky. And then with the left hand, we start to feed this right knee over to the left. Maybe we start to gaze over to the right, finding that full spinal twist. Option just to pop a little bit of resistance to the knee, or you can really press down to get that full range of stretch for you. Everybody is different, remember. Just 
checking in with how the lower back feels, how the back body feels. Quite often we can feel pain in the lower back because of the anterior chain of muscles. Maybe they are feeling tight and fatigued. which in turn has an effect on our posterior chain. From here, bringing both knees all the way back to center, cradle them back in. Maybe you choose to rock from side to side. And then we're gonna float our way all the way up into tabletop. So moving yourself into tabletop pose, grounding the hands underneath the shoulders, separating the knees around hip width apart or whatever feels most comfortable for you. And then we're just gonna take some traditional cat-cow stretches, taking an inhale, letting the belly button fall, the tailbone lifts, the heart stretches forward, soft little bend in the elbows and then pushing the floor away, chin in towards the chest. Exhale, breath. Inhale, allow the belly to fall, soft elbows, stretching your heart space forward. And exhaling as you round, the tailbone tucks under and we slide that chin in towards the chest. Inhale, let the belly fall. And exhale as you round. One more time, inhale, let the belly fall, soft bend of the elbows, slide in the gaze, the heart space forward, beautiful. And then exhaling as we round, we push the earth away and really stretch through that upper back. Bring in your spine into neutral as we take a real nourishing spinal twist in tabletop. Let's take a big breath in, inhale as the left arm sweeps all the way up towards the sky. Separate the fingers and draw life through your fingertips. Exhale, breath as this left arm floats all the way underneath the right. We begin to drop the head down with the cheek. Rest in the shoulder keeping the right hand down towards the earth, keeping the hips up high and allowing this posture, this stretch to download. From here, begin to peel yourself all the way back up into tabletop pose. To repeat that, the other side, taking an in-breath, right arm sweeps all the way up towards the sky. Separate the fingers and bring life through your fingertips. Exhale, breath as we floss the arm all the way under. Relax the shoulder down. Relax the cheek, or if you prefer to relax the back of the skull down, you can do. Keeping the left hand out in front, supported. And lightly pulling that navel back towards the spine. A few more breaths here. From here, begin to lift all the way back up into tabletop. As the crown of the head draws out long, the tailbone pushes back. As we now set and build for a downward facing dog. So we're gonna curl those toes under, begin to float the knees just a few inches away from the mat, and then begin to slide that bottom all the way up towards the sky, pushing the hips up, back and down. And feel free to take any movement of your choice here. You can walk, so you can pedal out, lowering one heel down, then the other. Draw in the chest back towards the thighs. Don't worry if the heels don't come down. Bend the knees. This feels really yummy for the lower back. And 
and just feel the back lengthen and stretch and feel nourished there within your downward dog. Bending the knees, gazing to the top of the mat as we walk the feet all the way up towards the top of the mat, keeping the feet underneath the hips rather than together. We're going to take an inhale as we lift up into a halfway lift, moving the shoulders away from the ears. And then from here, we're going to bend the knees and we're going to ragdoll over. So we're going to keep a bend at the knee. I'm going to go cradle those forearms and just begin to sway from side to side. Allow everything to hang loose and heavy. Keeping with that yogic breath that ujjayi breath, that oceanic sound. Maybe you want a little bit of buoyancy here. You can bounce. Check in with how that lower back feels. With us really focusing around the lower back, continue to keep that juicy bend at the knee. Allow the arms just to dangle loose like spaghetti and begin to roll all the way up to stand vertebrae at a time until all of your bones are stacked. Beautiful. Okay, let's begin to heel toe the feet out, mat width apart. I'm going to just go this way. So heel toe your feet out, mat width apart. Slight little kick in of the heels and we're gonna bring the hands in to prayer. Let's take a breath in, inhale, we're going into yogic squat. Exhale, bending the knees and coming all the way down. Now feel free to sit on a block or place your heels on top of any bricks that you may have at home or any books. With the triceps, just start to peel the knees away from one another, bringing the thumbs towards the sternum. Tailbone draws all the way down. Feel free to keep your hands down for extra support, or you can place them in to prayer. From here, we're gonna interlace the fingers, okay? And we're gonna stretch the palms out in front. So still in our yogic squat, stretching those palms out in front. I'm gonna to begin to look underneath the right arm. Maybe we can take that gaze all the way up. Bringing everything back to center and then sliding the gaze underneath the left arm. All in there. And then all the way back to center. Hands back into prayer. Really ignite your core. Squeezing your glutes and your quads. Begin to lift and rise. Well done. Heel toe the feet together. Release the arms alongside the body to dasna. Standing up super tall. Imagine you've got strings at the top of your ears and you are being pulled up by your ears. Let's take a breath in. Inhale as we sweep the arms all the way up into prayer. Bending at the knees and just hanging loose like spaghetti back in that ragdoll pose. Again, feel free to add that buoyancy. Placing the hands down, taking the feet back into a downward facing dog for another pedal. Maybe you decide to keep the knees 
bent, soften out through that lower back. Bringing both knees down towards the earth, allow them to kiss all the way down and begin to step your right foot in between your hands, keeping the left hand down and begin to raise your right arm all the way up. Beautiful twist for that lower back. Beautiful again, place the hand down, curl the toes and take it all the way back into a downward facing dog. Have another little scribble out. Bringing the knees down towards the earth, step in the left foot in between the hands. Keeping the right hand down, juicy twist the other side. Spreading the fingertips, bringing life through your hands. Bringing that hand down to meet the earth, pushing all the way back into your downward facing dog. Last time here in downward dog. Bringing the knees back down towards the earth and sweeping your legs out in front. So just give those legs a little rinse and we're going back down on to our back. So just lowering all the way down. And we're going to take a bridge pose. So we're going to keep arms alongside the body. We're going to bring the heels in as close as we can and we're going to try and keep those knees around hip width apart rather than allowing them to flare out to the side. And as we take a breath in, we start to peel the hips all the way up towards the sky. The tailbone starts to draw towards the knees. We squeeze the glutes, keep the legs engaged. And we remember to breathe. Think about dragging those heels back towards your glutes. Really activating all of your posterior chain. And then when you are ready, slowly lowering down vertebrae by vertebrae, catching at the back of the legs as you rock all the way up into seated. And we're gonna take a seated forward fold. So we're gonna bring the legs out in front, but for this forward fold, we're gonna bend the knees. So let's take some buoyancy and Bend through both of the knees, digging the heels down, drawing the toes towards you. Let's take a breath in, inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, exhale, reach out long. Now you may be able to take the sides of the feet or the sides of the ankle and just allow your head to drop in between the legs, hang heavy and feel that delicious sensation in the lower back to release any tension or any fatigue. Wonderful, begin to lift all the way up. Bringing your legs in to Sukhasana. So we're going to take a seated cross-legged posture. 
Bring in the hands either side of the thighs. Take a breath in. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, spinal twist out to the left. The right hand meets the knee. We take the gaze over the back shoulder. And again, belly button softly pulling back towards the spine. Inhale as we sweep all the way up towards the sky and exhale as we spinal twist the other way. Inhaling, arms meet together, the hands press together, and we bring the hands all the way down to Namaste. Let's place the hands onto the knees just to finish with a little bit of embodied movement. And taking a breath in, pressing the chest forward, elbows stay tucked towards the ribs, and then exhaling as we pull back, we drop the chin in towards the throat. Maybe we shimmy from side to side. Inhale and you can move graciously, spontaneously as you like. Puff the chest forward. Exhale round. Inhale last time. Push the chest forward. A little shimmy from side to side if you wish to. Exhale, breath. Release. Push back. Bringing the spine into neutral, hands onto the knees, feel grounded. And maybe you keep the eyes closed or you decide to open them. Just begin to thank yourself for carving out this time on your mat to look after your lower back and any aches and any pains that you feel there. Thank you for moving with me today. Namaste.